mm. because I keep wondering what made Joseph, mm -hmm. Joseph, a young man of 16 years, in a foreign country, foreign country, not his own country. There was no mother, there was no father, mm. there was no Bible, there was no pastor, mm. there was no fellowship. Mm. You look at that, mm. nothing, nothing mm. godly. Mm. But this guy gets a woman who is pestering him to sexual, mm. uh, him, uh, to have sex with, with, with the boss wife every day mm. because he kept on pestering her for many days. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and, 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 and she kept on saying, no, mm. I can't do such a thing mm. and such a wicked thing mm. and sin against my God. What is this belief system wow. that was in Joseph, Joseph. at 16 year old? Mm. How many 16 year old boys of today would say no to sexual perversion? Because they know what they are doing is wicked. Now, instead of calling it wicked today, we are saying that I have, I have a great weakness. We have turned <laughs> wickedness to weakness. <laughs> but uh, you know, Pastor Sue, yes. I have this weakness. We are not calling it wickedness. Mm -hmm. we, we look for a name that looks like, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, you, and yeah. you know, you are not supposed mm. to fight last. Mm. You are not, you are not, there is no verse in the Bible mm. that talks about any human being trying to fight last. You will never win that battle. Mm -hmm. The only fight you're supposed to have is the fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> when someone comes and tells you that I'm fighting last, how do you fight last? You don't fight last. You run in the name of the Lord. You run away. Yes. You move out of the vicinity. Mm. So you see most of them, when they're having sex, especially the, 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 the gay, mm -hmm. uh, after having sex, some of them will even ejaculate inside the anus. Mm -hmm. So what happens? These sperms have to leak out. Mm -hmm. Equally, what happens when you have sex with your husband and a wife? Mm -hmm. Semen is what actually comes out too much. So you find, at the end of the day now, since the, 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 the smell, you know, they have a, a funny smell. Mm -hmm. So you find most of them will have to put up now pampas so that they don't leak. Uh, from the behind and at the end of the day you know flies can also follow you because of that it's very rich in protein <laughs> the semen is very rich in protein so what people opt to do is to put pampas so that and they use very strong colognes very strong sprays you know so that you don't even know them so uh, the, the, the hassle they go through is at, in the name of pleasure and i tell you when someone has gotten into that perversion to remove them, you really don't need to condemn them. You don't need to, to whatever you only need to show them the truth that they are destroying their body because their body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So they need to, handle, to be handled with a lot of care and love. And most of them, when you look at the, why they are doing that, you will find that they were sexually harassed or molested when they were young. Mm. You get that. There's always a reason why they are doing what they are doing. Mm. And so no. condemning them you have not helped them. You need to understand what is the root cause of this, this habit because something must have happened. And now science has proven beyond any reasonable doubt. There was a, a, a saying that was going around that people who are homosexuals, homosexual, whether you are a woman or a girl mm -hmm. or, a, or a lady, that you have the genes, mm -hmm. the genes of homosexual. Now it, science has proven beyond any reasonable doubt that there is nobody who has died, who is living, and who is to come, who has the gene of homosexuality, that homosexuality is a mental orientation. You must have seen or watched something, mm -hmm. you must have listened to something or read an article. Mm -hmm. So it is a mental orientation through your senses, through your eye gate or your ear gate. Mm -hmm. It is not something that you find yourself. That's why nobody, nobody was born by the mother being a gay or being a lesbian is a mental orientation and that's why you're finding now because of internet there's a lot of copy and paste what we are seeing in the western we also want to copy it here in our country so there's a lot of influence if you remember the first few days when, when the internet came if you could see a man kissing another man you'd even do this in your phone and you're just alone you'd feel no this is not normal but as time is continuing you're like ah yeah it is yeah even you can watch them and you don't feel anything why they are slowly mm. brainwashing us, mm. wow. initiating us. Mm. You get the point. Until we reach a point whereby we can say, see, see someone, to, someone should love whom they want. If you realize, it's not a big deal as it was. 
Because slowly but surely mm. we are being initiated. We are being initiated slowly. If you'd see a lady kissing you, you're like, no. Even you don't want to look at them. Today, you're like, you want to look at them and find what else are they doing? Mm. The consciousness is dying. It's dying. It's yeah. dying. Yeah. That's the way people are initiated into something through now through now the internet and that's why you are finding uh, homosexuality has really increased since the internet came before it was very rare especially in Africa it was really rare it was actually in the western countries but right now it, it is the order of the day really it, it, among the clergy among very successful people in business and in their career you find they're saying I want to to declare that I am I am I am a homosexual I am this you get that mm. and so it, it's looking fashionable because there's a lot of funding, a lot of money that comes with that organization. And so it is important to know that you cannot exchange your health, your well, your health, well-being mm. with money. Mm. You know, mm. it's good to respect your body because you need this body for the next 120 years, according to Genesis 6 verse 3, that the days of a man shall be 120. So you, know. you, can, you don't need to misuse your body in the name that is for pleasure for right now because old age is going to catch up with you. Mm. You'll be pooping, pooping, pooping without non-stop. You know that. And that sphincter muscle to be repaired is not easy. How many people will, 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 will afford to go for an operation to be repaired that sphincter muscle when it becomes loose? And so the people who suffer most actually, they are the people who are gay or women who are married to men who are bisexuals. They can have sex with men and they can also have sex through the inner with their wives. Now that one is the worst. So the people who suffer most are actually women. Ma'am, the, 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 the way you are explaining so, that, that mm -hmm. uh, anal sex, yes. it is so ugly, mm. it is so painful, mm -hmm. and has, it's, it's just a very bad picture. Mm. But we find someone enjoying it, then I concur with Romans 1.26 that, that God has given handed you over to your pleasures. Mm. So that you find that at first it was something bad, mm. but now you begin enjoying what part, what's wrong. It was natural, now it is just, just yes. like... Drugs, mm, you know, mm. drugs is not even like it is sweetened. Yeah. In most cases, it is uh, bitter, it mm. is soury. Good, even and simple then, thing like chang. Someone does it. And the, it's or, like it's burning him, but yeah. he keeps on doing it every now and then. Mm. People and who take like, whiskey, yeah. I, 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 I see their faces and their eyes turn red. To me, yeah. it is very bitter. They come back falling in, in, in pits, but they still go back there. And yes. they spend I think it's slavery, mm. whereby God has handed over to. Doing it. Yes. There is a verse that um, you had mentioned yes. in Leviticus, mm -hmm. uh, that is chapter 20 and verse 13. Yes. If a man lies with a male mm -hmm. as he lies with a woman, mm -hmm. both of them have committed abomination. Mm -hmm. They shall surely be put to death. Mm -hmm. Now this is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 14. Mm. Uh, we went from verse 13, it's now 14. Mm. If a man marries a woman mm. and her mother and her mother, it is wickedness. Mm -hmm. They shall be burnt with fire, mm -hmm. both he and they, mm -hmm. that there may be no wickedness mm -hmm. among you. Yes. If a man meets with an animal, mm -hmm. he shall surely be put to death. Mm -hmm. That's bestiality. And you shall kill. Mm the animal. Mm. Now there's something I wanted to say like there, mm. about homosexuality, mm. that, uh, you see, these are two men. Mm. One of them will act like a man, mm. or the husband, mm. then the other one will act like a, the, the woman, mm. or the wife. Mm. So I keep on asking myself, mm -hmm. why take something that is fake? Mm -hmm. Instead of taking what is original, well, what, is real. what is real, what is real, you mm. see, because this man has to do a lot of makeup, mm. has to do a lot of body, mm -hmm. kind of, you know, even take hormones, hormones, estrogen, yes, to change herself, even some are going the for surgery. The voice, he has to try to talk mm. like a that ka sweet ka girl. Mm. So, 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 why take what is? I mean fake, mm. when there is something that is... When you have a woman who is real, yes. when you have a man who is real, why there? behave like a woman and you are a man, 
You see, this is a Can't you just go and get a woman? Disorientation. Sure. That's a disorientation. <laughs> and we are having so many women who are single and very to be yes. honest. Yes. Yeah, the one you say there's an issue of, uh, mm. you know, the things that you have seen. Yes, it's a mental orientation. The things that you have heard. Mm -hmm. Homosexuality. The things you have read. Exactly. You have listened mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. actually, it's very. Mm -hmm. It's now becoming very common, mm -hmm. even with who is who. Mm -hmm. But some just because something is fashionable mm -hmm. does not mean mm -hmm. it is profitable. Mm -hmm. Also. Some Something can be uh, uh, fashionable, mm. but it is not profitable to you. Mm. Yeah. So, and even if it is done by who is who, mm. my dear, you need to understand that the God who gave you your anus, mm. the person who gave you your sexual organs, and, mm. the, and, the, and the urge for sex mm -hmm. did not intend you to take your sexual urges mm. to your anus. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a wrong direction. Mm. You are misusing, uh, you are misusing mm. what God has already given you. Mm. And uh, I know they, there's a lot of uh, debate on that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at the same time, mm -hmm. when you're having sex with another man, mm -hmm. suppose your mother and your father were also homosexual mm -hmm. and lesbians, mm -hmm. would you have been born? Mm -hmm. So we are living in a time where people are so selfish. Mm -hmm. They want to adopt somebody's child, mm -hmm. but then they don't want to have their own child. Mm -hmm. You're getting, look at wow. this type, look at the, the, the selfishness that is with the people. We mm -hmm. know this is the only way to increase humanity. But you want to marry another man, I want to marry another woman. How can a woman and a woman have a child? So we are actually against God, who said go and multiply. Mm -hmm. Because now there's no multiplication among two women, two men. Exactly. This is purely selfishness. It's all about sex. Mm -hmm. We live only for sex. Our, our, our aim of living is to live to our career, our jobs, get money, get good life, and then have sex. Your life is defined mm -hmm. by only two things. Mm -hmm. Money. Survival and pleasure yeah. yes survival thank you pleasure. in fact mm. it's survival and pleasure mm. you know that's all Which and you feel bad. contented you don't want to bring any human being mm. who looks like you mm. i met a man who is uh, 72 years old mm. and he has been a gay what? he doesn't have any child wow. and i was counseling him and he was telling me pastor i feel wasted because the person who introduced me to gayism was my cousin mm. you get when i was around 10 years. So the entry door to sexuality to him was through the anus. And for 72 years, he has not even a child outside. And the guy is wealthy. Mm -hmm. But he has no child. Mm -hmm. So right now, he was actually almost to a point, he was so depressed, almost to a point of death. And he was telling me, I feel I have been, I've, I've wasted my life. Mm -hmm. I've acquired all this, but I have no child. Mm -hmm. Because I slept with who is who, all men, you know. And uh, it's really sad. It's really sad. So I think some of these things that were written in the word of God, though you may not die, you may not be put to death per se, but you have died the second death. Your conscience has died. Mm. And if you continue like that and, and you don't come back to your senses and uh, realize that what you are doing is not right, mm. then you have wasted your life here on earth. Mm. Yes, it's okay, so I'm getting mm. to understand mm -hmm. and it's getting me to wonder mm -hmm. why most of these uh, gay people, homosexual people, be it even female and female, mm -hmm. most of it is always being initiated by either an auntie, uh, mm -hmm. an uncle. It is never from far. Mm -hmm. And that means that maybe parents will leave a lot of. Uh, loophole. Mm. Just, we are naive. Yeah, we are naive. We, we, we are just trust. We over trust. Mm. Say, oh, this is your cousin's we share mm. the bed. Well, share the it. bed. Mm -hmm. You even share the bed with your aunties. Ma, lala na auntie yako. It's okay. But mm. we need to come to we come back to that consciousness. We protect the baby from some things. Mm. The, the mm. child. Because they are vulnerable. They are vulnerable. They will mm. just accept. And then that's how now they will be wired. Mm -hmm. And most of these people, if you talk to them, really they are not happy with what they are doing. They're not. Mm. Like there is a guy I was showing my my, my, my husband on mm. TikTok. Mm. He's a very popular person, very gifted, very talented, mm. a young boy whom mm -hmm. we knew growing. He's into he's a wife to some white guy. You see, mm. I don't know whether it is white or Arab. But the, the guy is saying that while growing up he had two dads, mm -hmm. and he, he saw so many times the dad abusing the mom. The second dad was ab abused the mom, mom went and got married to another abuser. Mm -hmm. So to him, he has never seen a role model, male role model. That's what mm -hmm. he was explaining, and we would sympathize with the guy, and we were like, oh. But also I've seen people who have been in that space, mm -hmm. and have been redeemed by the word mm -hmm. of God, because it is some emptiness in them, mm -hmm. that they are looking for, what can I fill it with? Mm -hmm. 
they are feeling it with anyhow, any way they know it. But I think if they come to the word of God, I've seen people who are very reformed. Mm. Maybe they are there, they are very wondering true. how can I reform, how can I change yeah. my life. So that you don't get to a point where by you are 72 years and you are regretting. Imagine. Like the person mom was cancelling. Mm. You can make a U-turn as early as now, redeem your life. Yeah. Oh yes, that's very true. And that's why this show is very important. If you are there and you are struggling with such uh, conditions and uh, perversion, mm. Mm. kindly reach us. We are going to help you with professionals who can be able to walk the journey with you. And this is private and confidential. It's not something that we'll go announcing. Because one of the ways to overcome perversion mm. is getting someone you can be accountable to mm. so that they can walk the journey with. And someone who is not going to condemn you, judge you, you know, tell you you are a very very sinful person, no matter what you have done, mm. uh, there is no sin that God cannot forgive. Mm. And so we don't want you to have the second death because the physical death may not come soon. But we don't want you to have an eternal death where you are permanently separated from mm. God. And that's why you find these people have a problem with anger. When you talk about that, they get mad with you because they feel they want to protect that. But you know deep down in your subconscious mm. mind that what you are doing is not right. But now because you are already addicted, you just want to stick to it. So I want to let someone who is feeling very stuck and you don't know what to do, we are here for you. That's why this show is here for you. Mm. Oh yes, there is hope, there is hope. Maybe before we mm -hmm. go to, mm. to, to that, mm. uh, in uh, the verse that we read, and uh, she has just mentioned that mm. again, mm. if a man meets with an animal, mm. he shall surely be put to death. Mm. Uh, that's another forbidden type yeah. of a sex, of sex which is bestiality. Mm. And, and probably we can shed just a little bit of light, because mm. we just mentioned about it. Mm. But maybe somebody is asking there, Kwani kona shindagani, you get mm. it. Eh? Then we can now go now maybe to, to, to the lip. Mm. And that, that also reminds me the book of Genesis 2 verse 18. Mm. When God created Adam and Eve, mm. the Bible says, you know, eh, eh, that Adam was alone. You know, he was alone, the lions were there, mm. you know, the leopards were there. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that this man was alone. Mm. So people who uh, use animals as a way of relieving themselves, mm. they are doing the wrong thing. Yeah, because we would you have know? seen, we would, uh, the Bible would have said yes. that Adam would use the elephants, mm. would yes. use the antelopes, mm. would use the, the buffaloes to have yes. sex with them. Yes. So uh, from the beginning, God did not intend that any man and woman should have sex mm. with, with any animal. animals. Mm. But you see now, what happens is that uh, when you watch, even, even that bestiality, mm. you can't have sex with an animal if you have never watched a movie with that oh, again. and right uh -huh. now it's very tricky these things are getting initiated slowly but surely are you aware there are no movies right now that you can do and you know they are they are they are they are allowed in these big you know movie companies mm -hmm. without some you know homosexuality mm -hmm. bestiality you know it's like they're initiating people slowly but surely you, with the colors, with the rainbow, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of initiation and we need to be aware about that. Mm. And so what we're talking about bestiality, because it's what they are, they are calling que queer. Queer means you can have sex with anything you want. Oh. Yeah, that's what it means, that, that queer. LGBTQ. Mm. That queer means you can have sex with anything you want. Mm -hmm. You can have sex with a snake, you can have sex with a dog, you can have a snake. Anything, <laughs> any animal, as long as it's an animal. That, that verse says that, Cats. That, mm -hmm. that verse is that mm. any man who has sex with an animal, mm. he should be stoned, mm. and then the animal should be killed. You know, this animal is very innocent. You know, it's very innocent. The animal had you know what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, you, you see, like now, as human beings, we mm. bring uh, uh, problems to you and things that are not even aware. Wow. Like in Sodom and Gomorrah, mm. all the animals died that were very innocent. Mm. But they died because of man's sins. Yeah. Time of uh, the flood, also mm. animals died because of mm. man's sin. Mm -hmm. So we are also still dragging things that are innocent into these our issues, mm. trying to explore. Mm. It's so it sad. is very, very sad. Yeah. And, and there are people mm -hmm. who always say, ah, I'm independent, mm. I only have a German shepherd, mm. a dog, and <laughs> they don't have any other person in the house, they don't have a house boy, and this German shepherd is big, and if you bend to pick your phone like this, the German shepherd stands in a very funny way, <laughs> and we, we begin to wonder, this German shepherd, mm. is it? Is it just a German shepherd, not there is something husband. much? Different? Yes. German husband. Uh, yes. And you know, yes. also, Chihuahuas. you have to and do what? Eh? I, I mm. tend to feel you have also to, to, uh, to try and have a, a, a language that will be able to tell the dog 
or the chihuahua mm. that there's something you want from it. <laughs> so you have now to behave. To train. To train, yes. You, have to train. Yeah. you know your voice, your action, mm. you are behaving like a chihuahua. Yeah. You know you are, you, are, you, are, you are having that kind of, you know, yeah. tone. Communication. Communication mm -hmm. like a, of a dog. Mm -hmm. So you're able now to communicate. Mm -hmm. So, ni kama hata mawazo ya mtu inatolewa, unanza kuingia mawazo ya ya unyama. Mm. So you able now mm. to communicate with this animal mm. and all that. Eh? You are reducing yourself to the level of an animal. Can you imagine? Yeah, in, in, in the name of pleasure. Yes. You've tried Asians, mm. Eastern communities, Blacks, <laughs> Africans, mm. even Maasai. Everybody, you cannot get a partner. Mm -hmm. To an extent now, you just mm -hmm. say Chihuahua mm -hmm. and, and German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. And this one brings me mm -hmm. to a, a st mm -hmm. I still emphasize that's a mental, mm -hmm. that's a mental mm -hmm. illness. Mm -hmm. It's a mental because illness. Because Tanguangadia to you, Kambuzu, mm -hmm. say, wow, uyu, this that's can nice be a <laughs> That's because what do you look at a good show and uh, is this the voice? Uh -huh. okay. yeah. or, or the German even, shepherd. Even cows. Mm. Person, even even, even, even chicken. Even chicken. chicken. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But actually, I would, I would strongly advise mm. that uh, anybody who has got these challenges like mom has said, mm. they should reach us and to us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you and see, this, yeah. this, this book called Naked and Not Ashamed, mm. we have written some of those things here mm. that can help so many oh, people. Yes, by the you way. know, naked and not not ashamed. Mm. Wow. This is a book that has got a lot, not just mm. about the uh, to a to a own, eh? yeah. even some of these like bestiality, mm -hmm. uh, the, the rape, which I think you're going to talk you about right now. About some of those things are mm. actually in this book, mm. and you can just you just need to call and you get it. Mm. You know, and it's going to help you oh, in yes. one way or the other. Oh yes, yeah, very very that, important. That's yeah. very true mm. because now if mm. these things are not well taught, people mm. will think that's the way to do it. Mm. And we have to be very careful with the things that we are watching, mm. especially the movies that have really come. Mm. You have to be very careful. What are you watching? Because mm. some of these things are really hidden mm. in the name of you're just watching something, but you find, mm. you know, like I was talking to someone who was telling me when he was five years old, mm. I think five years or six years, he watched a movie and that movie led a man they were staying like in the bush with a wife and then he kept on telling the wife to have sex with him and he would decline 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 so one time he went to hunt and found this melon and looked at it it was his first time to see a melon and then he started looking at it and cut it and thought of having sex with it you see he only watched it on a movie when wow. he was five years right now he's 45 years and he has never married because he usually have sex with melon what? can you see now what he saw when he was five years was kept in the subconscious mind. When he started now looking for a wife and it seems like it's not possible, the mind re, re, recalled what he saw in a movie. Mom, I, so I, the I movies we are watching, mm. the things we are watching and listening, and, and the songs, the we have to be very careful. Mm. They can mold you. you. You may not think it's an issue right now, mm. but later on in life you find that thing being retrieved by your mm. mind. You know, and you start practicing it and everyone is like, where did you get this idea? I think these mm -hmm. things have a spirit behind them. They are, they are the spirit so of last. Yeah, it's, it's not just about the spirit of last. and then staying in your mm -hmm. mind. Yeah. This thing comes when you watch it, mm -hmm. it deposits a spirit in you. Yeah, the spirit of last. That, yeah, that helps you now to mm -hmm. do what you have never done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's, that's spirit of last. It's in the book of First John. 2 verse 15, it's mm. very well stipulated mm. that uh, these things are not from God. The, mm. the, the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, mm. and the pride of life. Mm. So I think that's very true. So we have to be very careful what are the things that we are watching. Mm. So I wouldn't advocate, you know, man to man to have sex, mm -hmm. you know, and even if your heart broken, and even if you had a relationship that failed, that does not mean that you cannot try again. Mm. Yeah, so many of us were heartbroken. But we kept on trusting God for more. And God gave us the right partners. Today we are happily married. Mm. So let's not give up so fast and think that uh, man to man will work or woman to man. Because at the end of the day, we are going against nature. Mm. Yes. You know, we are going against nature in the sense that there can never be any, any mm. ma ma multiplication between a man and a man or a woman and a woman.